<laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Think dog, it's Friday! Yay! Woohoo! Happy Tuesday! <laughs> Made it through another week. Congratulations, <laughs> and this is your reward. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi everybody. I'm Patty Quinn from We Heart Hounds. I'm here with the absolutely lovely, talented, and amazing Hillary Buholtz. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> and we are we're in a silly mood today yep. <laughs> we've got <laughs> we've got some silly dogs we're putting together these are golf ball dogs um and we just had to show you what the end result is <laughs> we'll be making one today um and oh my gosh <laughs> i just can't help but giggle they're so cute and of course <laughs> Hillary made one of little Leon, which is, yep. I just think so <laughs> precious and adorable, our little uh, adorable dachshund. So, um, and I just made a, a couple little random guys here, but you can see these are just so cute. These are gonna be uh, Father's Day gifts that you yep. can create uh, over the weekend. So hopefully this will be, you know, a little inspiration. Maybe you've got some random, like we have some random <laughs> golf balls laying around the house. <laughs> Uh, and just got to thinking, like, what kind of fun things can we do for our dog dads in yeah. um, in honor of uh, Father's Day uh, and give them a little smile, give them something to <laughs> giggle at. <laughs> and they're um, super easy, quick and easy. The kids can help. Like, it's, yeah. it's a really fun, again, they come out <laughs> really adorable, like surprisingly <laughs> adorable. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I just, I'm going to have a huge smile on my face the whole time because I'm just giggling. These little guys are so funny. So grab your friends, tell your neighbors, share the, share the post, uh, share the video, let everybody know that we're going to be putting these together. These are going to be just adorable. So I'm going to set them aside for right now. We'll get started. Oh my God, these are going to be so fun. So the first step is um, grabbing a bunch of teas. You're going to want, and I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to see. I've got a bunch of ba a bag of teas here, just random. And again, if there are ones that your dog dad has used, it's totally fine. Um, Hillary's got a new bag there. That's great too. You will probably want wooden teas. Um, yes. If you yeah. can grab them. So yeah, wooden exactly. as opposed to plastic. Um, and wooden's fun because it's a little more rustic and, and yeah. quirky too. Um, and so I've got a couple of them here. Basically what you're want, gonna wanna do is take the tip of the golf tee and you're gonna wanna try to make, make it easier so you can see with my shirt there. So, um, and clip the tip off. And I've got some wire cutters here. The heavier dutier ones make this, the job a lot faster and a lot easier. Um, but I just wanna show you just like trimming nails. You're just yeah. gonna cut that tip off. And basically the idea is we're gonna make four little legs out of these uh, golf tees. And we just want as much room surface area as possible for the glue to adhere and for the ball to sit on that's gonna end up being the body. Um, so just clipping off that little tip, just even just a little bit helps. Um, yeah. If you wanna sandpaper it down just to get it a little flatter you can. I you know, I did it on, on one, I didn't do it on the other. It doesn't really matter. There's not much of a difference, but you're gonna line them up um, and you're gonna put all four together. And basically you're gonna, I just held two at a time and kind of put some glue at the top of each. And then I held the other two and I put glue on the top of each. And then you're gonna want to cut out a little white felt circle or brown. So yep. felt circle, doesn't matter, whatever color you want. And you're just gonna set that on top. You're making like a little table, a little tiny table, a little felt table with four little wooden legs. So yeah, so you can kind of see what that looks like. And the uh, the thing you don't wanna do, which is, and I'm sharing it, cause this is what I did the first time, is I pushed down on the felt to make sure it would he adhere. But what you end up wanting to do in the next step is putting the golf ball on top and you want that felt to adhere upwards toward the ball. So when you put it on the on the tees, just make sure it adheres to the tips of the tees yeah. and you're not pushing that felt down cause you're gonna eventually want it to come back up. So keeping it as flat as possible is kind of a little bit of a trick, the, yeah. the trick to the trade here. And if you're wanting to do, so like my little Leon version uh, is black, so I painted the tees. So if you want to change the color of anything, oh, um, sure. you can Sharpie or paint or do whatever you want before. So I painted both the golf ball and the tees before mm -hmm. uh, gluing anything together. It just makes yeah. it a little bit easier. 
And this little guy, I used orange teas, um, but I painted the ball uh, brown, a little tan brown color. So yeah, so you can obviously mix and match or do whatever. Um, and they're really fun if you can customize them to match your doggy at home. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cute. So um, anyway, so we have our little table. Um, drink a little tea set here, a miniature tea set. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going uh, to take a, a golf ball. And again, if it's one that your dog dad has used, that's great. If it's a new one, that's fine too. Um, you're going to notice there are going to be a couple of logos or um, imprints, uh, words or what have you on the golf ball. And basically, you're going to want to have those be the sides where the ears are. So you're going to cover that those up with the ears. Um, I noticed some of them, um, some of mine had uh, like a third little words or saying or something on it. I actually used that third one to glue down. So I'm hiding it um, on gotcha. that little table. Um, but just basically most of them have logos on both sides and that's where the ears are gonna eventually go. So just kind of think about that when you're placing your, your golf ball on the little table. And we're just gonna, I wanna make sure my glue's hot here. Just put a little dab of glue in the center of the table. You can always go back and add more if you need to. And then place your golf ball again so that the logos are on the sides. And there we go. And then you can lift it up and kind of secure it, press down, secure it in place. And if you need to add some more glue, you can. I love using hot glue for this because um, it dries so fast. Yeah, um, it does make use, it a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, you could use super glue, um, but it takes a little longer to dry and it'd be a, a little more challenging to secure everything quickly. <laughs> I've got wonky legs going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> I think mine has gone rogue here. I don't know if I'll get, well, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to pretend that it's standing up upright. I think I glue them too close to the golf ball. Woo. Okay. <laughs> so you get the idea. So we've got our little legs here. Um, and the reason that you have the felt is, um, again, it does give it some movement. Um, if you try to glue it directly to the golf ball, there's not, not any wiggle room for um, for your legs to adhere to the ball. Um, and there's the golf ball so slick, it's just yeah. not a real good surface. So that's kind of why we're using that little piece of felt there. And then the next trick or the next step is to add kind of all the, the fun elements, the ears and the eyes and the nose and the tail. So we'll, we'll start with the ears. So you're just gonna cut little teardrop shapes for, for ears there. And we're gonna glue them to each side. We're to kind of cover up those logos. You just need a, a little bit of glue at the top. You don't have to adhere the whole thing all the way down. And this is when it really starts getting its oh my personality. Gosh. <laughs> this totally is the fun part. This is definitely the fun part. And then uh, we're gonna add a little, um, another T for a tail. So that'll go in the back. Oh, your ears look adorable. They're my little, my little ears. We're gonna add another T and I had a dark brown T and I added a little white tip to it for <laughs> in honor of all beagles and hounds. <laughs> so just gonna add a little bit of glue to that. And the trick to that one, if there is a trick, um, was kind of have it a little on the up kind of, if you point it down, you don't really get to see it. So you kind of wanna have it uh, a little bit up uh, on the back 
just so you can see it from the front. I'm going to turn mine a little bit. Let me do it. The nice part is these things can just come off and come back. Yep. You can piece them back together, re reposition them wherever you like. Okay. So got my little tail on there, my little <laughs> wobbly legs. <laughs> so it's coming along. And then uh, the next thing to do is grab uh, a pom pom. So I'm using one inch. You could do three quarters of an inch or a half an inch. It just depends on what you have laying around. Hillary, show what you use. I thought that was brilliant. So for the for the Leon version, I used three quarters inch that I just mm -hmm. had some black pom poms. But um, for my kind of Lulu ish version, yeah. I just had this um, trim that's got mm -hmm. little pom poms on it. You'll notice that a lot of them have already been removed. <laughs> other projects but i just grabbed one of those a little kind of peach one uh this will be i think that's perfect snoot area and then i have a little tiny um pom-pom with like little glitters on it that's okay. gonna be those piece for okay for this. perfect and mine's just a little a little wooden bead and a white one inch pom-pom for mine um for this other dog i had a, a larger wooden bead and a smaller bead so whatever you have around the house um really you do a kind of, little button or i actually yep. used um mine it looks like a bead but it is actually out of a floral like some of the floral oh, picks that i had i just yeah. had a little like red ball that i painted black <laughs> that's <laughs> so. a great idea yeah no 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 what i mean this is again this should be fun most of the stuff should be laying around your house right so yep uh, or lying around your house. Okay, so now I've got my little snoot on here with my little pom pom, and then <laughs> it's hard to see white on white, but there you go. And then I'm gonna add my little bead for my nose. So cute. These are just so fun. I mean, you could have the kiddos doing these. Um, might be. For older kids probably but little kiddos can certainly help pick out all the parts and pieces yep. they can put together oh my gosh just adding that little and helping them paint like if you're doing different colors you yeah know, they can help paint the golf balls yeah, and stuff exactly <laughs> oh, oh she's looking at i love the extra long ears on her too <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome <laughs> All right, and then the final step are some googly eyes, and I just have a, a bag of googly eyes laying around. I have so a whatever variety Maybe pack of googly assortment. eyes. Yep, and just pick out whatever size eyes you want to use, and the least amount of hot glue is all that's needed. I'm lucky; mine have adhesive on the back of them. So. Oh, that helps. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> These are so funny. <laughs> I just love these little characters. Ah, there she is. My little girl beagle. <laughs> oh, oh, look at Lulu. That's a... <laughs> oh they are gosh. just so goofy and they so are <laughs> so funny oh my gosh i'm gonna have to work on her legs poor thing <laughs> she, <laughs> needs to, she, she needs a little extra tlc there but you get the idea these are so fun and so adorable um yeah we just had the best time making <laughs> these um obviously i got a little carried away i ended up making three <laughs> three of them <laughs> there's another little one so a different colored bead uh, basically everything else is the same except a white tail instead of a brown one. But yeah, I mean, really just so fun. These are just great. <laughs> They're so adorable. So hope everybody had fun. What do you think? Like, this is great, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> these are hysterical. Um, and your dog dad will just absolutely love these yeah. for Father's Day. Especially they will definitely put a smile on his yeah. face. Like, yeah. Guaranteed. <laughs> 
especially since it's something that you made. That means so much more than any anything else. So anyway, hope you guys had fun. Um, we do this every Friday. We get together with crafts and recipes and all kinds of things in honor of love for, for pups. So if you know of anybody that would be interested, we have a whole library of all kinds of good stuff. Other dog dad ideas from uh, last Father's Day and all kinds of good stuff on our website. You can check out um, for gifts and stuff for dad. Um, hope everybody has a good one. Enjoy pamper dad this Sunday. Hope he has a great day um, and hug your pups for us. Yeah. Have a good one. Thanks everybody. <laughs> Take bye -bye. care. Bye-bye. <laughs>